Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to take you through the transformation of my store or pantry as some of you would call it this is what my store looked like and even though i had shelves in it it just wasn't serving its maximum purpose so i needed to take down the shelves take down my door you know throw on a fresh coat of paint and then work on the shelving in this store so the first thing that we did was of course to take down the wood as you can see the shelves I had on there were made from raw wood and I wanted to use white boards initially but I changed my mind last minute and I decided to stick to my raw wood so here my carpenter is taking down all the old wood and he's going to smoothen them out because when we moved in here the carpenter that did this for me did them in my absence he didn't smoothen the wood or anything so he was going to smoothen all of that out and then we threw on a fresh coat of white paint because the paint that was here before was like a light um, yellowish type of color so I took down the door as well because I needed to make use of that wall space hi people welcome to my channel my name is Kinye it is good to have you here um, in today's video I am first of all I'm beaming because this transformation is so dear to my heart because I love it when my space is easy to work in. I love it. It just gives me so much satisfaction and fulfillment to know that I have a very organized, easy space that I can get my day-to-day -day activities going very smoothly. That just, you know, this is just one extra thing to make my life easier. And of course, it's very requested because a lot of people want to see how I've been able to transform this space. As you can see, it's a very, very small space. My two shoulders touch both shelves on the opposite ends so it's a very small space but i've been able to really get this space to look the way i want it to look and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys what i did and how i have been able to put everything here together take into consideration first of all that a lot of things i have in here are things that i've had for the longest time now we've been in this apartment for about four years going to five years i think and when we moved in here it was empty the walls were yellow and it was empty so i don't know how the previous tenant was storing their stuff in here but really that's none of my business but when we came in here it was a blank canvas there was nothing on it we moved in here in a hurry so i was able to just ask my husband to get a carpenter in my absence to just put wood wooden shelves on the wall i wasn't specific so they had this wooden um, shelves that they put and that was what we had on the walls now initially there was a door here which i'm going to put a clip over this just to show you what it looked like so i had a door here but i took out that door recently i have been working with that door since we moved in here and like i said we've been here for quite a while so the door was blocking this wall area that you're seeing this wall space was blocked by the door and i don't know why i didn't think of it earlier but i know that i needed more space i only tried to squeeze in as much as i could and i of course tried to buy as little as i could one thing about me is that i will not buy more than i have this space to store that's one tip so if you are if you feel like you want to have a space that looks like mine or that feels like mine first things first i do not buy more than my space can carry so that's one thing that i have been living by and that works for me it might not work for you but that works for me they added about two of these shelves on this center side two or three and then on this wall they had about two or three as well now i was working with those shelves for the longest time and only until recently i asked my carpenter to come and take them down because i wanted to really redo the space and manage it well i realized that even with the shelving i didn't have adequate space and it was like the wall space was wasting because a lot of the shelves were not there was so much space in between them this time around we did it with so much intention and you know i measured my containers and everything was just done the way i would like it to be so we changed the paint from the yellow that it was when we moved into white so we bought all of the old wood and then he bought some new ones he just sandpapered them down um, i would have loved to add like a shiny finish but my carpenter is a novice he, he didn't do this job as neatly as i would have loved but i'm just trying to call it a rustic kind of situation a lot of the places that he hammered in the wood got cracked or it wasn't smooth or the measurement was just a bit off but i like it like i said it's functional it looks clean and you know that's it for me I'm going to take you guys through how i store stuff in the store so this is what it looked like when he was done if you noticed previously we had this long 
slab of wood running in the center of the shelves to hold them up and that was what the previous carpenter did but this time around he just used a short he used short pieces of wood to hold the shelves up now of course this can look better than this you can make these floating shelves depending on how much you are willing to spend and the carpenter that you're working with but this is what i did and i'm fine with it so i just dusted the shelves down and then used a wet cloth to clean them and then i'm just going to put everything i need to put so with me once i'm doing my um, organization on my shelves i always put the things that i don't reach out to as often on the top so for toilet clothes we don't reach out for toilet clothes very often so i like to put them at the topmost part and then i put my cleaning products on the shelf right below that because i don't want my children to have access to cleaning products so if you have smaller children in your house please make sure that you're storing your cleaning supplies on the top shelves okay so you can see how high this is in fact when i want to reach out to some of the things i have to climb on a stool to reach out to them so that's how i organize and then things that we reach out for very often like my spices you know canned food i bring them down a little bit lower and then heavier stuff like onions yams potatoes you know my container of flour those things that you know have a lot of weight i also bring them down so they're easy to lift and easy to bring down even you know for someone that's smaller than i am or someone that's shorter than i am so like my first aid box i did change the position because i know you can see where it is but i changed the position and i put it somewhere um higher so that my children do not have access to it so these are just some of the things that you can put into consideration when you are organizing a space <laughs> is just for things that we do not um, reach out to very very often on the next shelf I have this storage thing and in here I just have extra bulbs and I have my food scale up here down here I have an empty container I use for granola I don't have granola in it right now I have this empty basket um, I think what do I have in here oh yeah so I have back clips yeah, I just have back clips in this one. And then this is an empty basket. So if I have to store any other thing, I have an empty basket here. This is my first aid box. Um, both of them, this stores new meds that we haven't opened. And this just stores meds that we reach out for very often. Now here I have my um, pack of microfiber cloth. Thanks to my friend for sending me two packs of this. I am on the second one now. And these are an absolute lifesaver. I love them here i have toilet roll up here because we have a lot of bombs to clean so we have a lot of toilet roll here so on this second shelf i have cleaning products um 
this is something i've never tried out before i don't know why i'm showing you guys but i'm so eager to try this out um but yeah, i have cleaning products in here so these baskets i absolutely love these are vika baskets i'm going to try and leave the names of the stores where i got these from so these baskets i got in a set there are four of them and i've been using them to store cleaning products so i have cleaning products here i have some more cleaning products here i buy a lot of cleaning products i have some more here um and then this one i just have i think air fresheners inside this one so this is my detergent basket um even though i have storage under my sink where we keep detergents we also store some detergent here this is another cleaning product basket so in here i have um bathing soap i have toothpaste as well and that's all that we store here this is practically an empty basket i like that i have empty baskets because that means that if i include any other thing or if i buy any other thing or if i stock up the store i have so much space to put other things so in here i just have some used foil papers and washed ziploc bags and i have my magic eraser here which should actually go in here this is my tool basket i'm actually looking for a tool box i've been looking for a tool box for the longest time but this is my tool basket i have if you guys don't know i'm very very handy when it comes to stuff i have nails in here um in here i have my plier my hammer screwdriver plug spanner wrench paint brush like i just have a bunch of things i just used to like make little corrections once in a while hopefully i can find the toolbox and then i stop using this for that so in this layer like i said i'm going to include all of the pages where i got the the ones i remember where i got the storage containers so this one is a nice basket people use this mostly for the fridge but i don't need it for my fridge so i just have my teas in here i have a tea box so these are all like extra bags of tea in here and then i have a can of big beans and of course some extra space if i want to include any more things um here i have sweets for the girls these are our biscuit boxes so we have some biscuits here we have some in the fridge so this is where we have like our extra story this is another pack of biscuits and in here we also have biscuits popcorn and all of that um these containers were gifted to me by off max homes i love them and this beautiful glass jar that has a cork cover this is for coffee this is for tea and this is for sugar but i just use them to decorate this area because really there's nothing that's staying here and i use them in front so that once you step into my store it's like the first thing that catches your eyes so i love that um these containers in here i use this to store extra spices i have all of my extra spices in here with three ones and then that goes on here as well and then in here i use this to store our sardines here i also have some extra seasoning um seasoning cubes i have salt and i have sugar in here so the next shelf i have my oils um this is my bottle for vegetable or use vegetable oil i have this bottle of vinegar which is what i use for my fruits so that's why it's here i have coconut oil and then i have olive oil behind this is my all-purpose flour and then here i have my baking things i don't bake the only thing i make is banana bread <laughs> so i have this container where i have all of my baking stuff um all of these plenty plenty syrups is that what they call them i think flavoring and then baking soda baking powder cornstarch brown sugar measuring cups that's what i have in here i got this basket from a store close to my house a very very long time ago um in here we have all our pasta and then in this one i have napkins so everything kitchen napkins mittens pot holders all of that um i will have like yeah kitchen sponges which shouldn't even be here this should be up here can you see so i haven't even finished my work i have scoring um whatever whatever you call this scotch bites so all of this should be up there which i've just moved including this so you see so this should actually be here kitchen napkins towels all of that we have here here i have drinking gary okay that's why we have drinking gary here i have my sachet tomatoes i don't bother buying things these save more space for me and i've just been using this for the longest time so here i have my foil 
um, parchment paper and my Ziploc bags. So on this one, I have my vegetable oil. And then here I have my bleached palm oil. Um, I really use a lot of bleached palm oil. So I just bleach, let it cool, and then I just store it here. Um, so that's what we have there. I have this wooden crates made by my carpenter because I tried to buy them on Instagram and they were so expensive. So I decided to have them made. I think when I made them, I made them for like 5000 each or something. I have fruits that I buy and I want to cut off. Up. this is where you would find the fruit so today I have watermelon here and then I have a bunch of plantains this is another crate this one stores my onions as you can see and this stores a lot this can take like two to three thousand naira onions so it stores a lot and I like how it slides out because uh, because of the little allowance I made here it slides out easily so you can just pull out the amount you want and then push it back this particular crate is for yams and sweet potatoes um this is my egg crate so i have a crate in the kitchen that i use for eggs but this just serves as an extra crate where i can store um quite a number of eggs so this particular one takes 32 eggs and then this particular basket just takes all of the extra canned things i don't buy a lot of canned things usually when i buy when i make fried rice i would probably use almost everything here so i will just stock it up again for the next time i want to make fried rice or anything most times we buy fresh so i just have this once as an extra so at the bottom of <laughs> of this floor because someone asked me where i keep my rice and all of that this is um plantain and something my mom bought so this is for making swallow that would eat with soup so this is more like a cattle container it just catches everything that doesn't have an actual place to stay um as you can see we have disposable plates that you know we use when we have um in-house gatherings here i have a ziploc bag that has plastic spoons for kids just a bunch of very random things you can see we use this place for like a soup or we'll make you know small small chops or anything like that this command hook so there's just it's, this place is just like i said a catch all and just catches everything that doesn't have a place to stay and mind you i declutter this very very often because i do not want it to get over full in here i have a full bag of rice so this bucket takes my full bag of rice i'm looking for a nice container if i have to change it it would definitely be changing it to a see-through one but i've had this bucket for so many years and i've always used this to store bag of rice so we buy one bag of rice and it's it sits in here and we have a little bit more which we put in another smaller container so this takes my gary so i have yellow gary which is what we use to make a bar here i have my gallon of palm oil so i also have this ikea stool that i've had for a while and this just slides into the center and i can use this to stand when i want to reach so when i want to reach up i use that i just have that stool right there for anybody that wants to climb and you know reach any of the shelves there's almost no space to walk in but it is very functional and it's perfect so this is just an overview of what my store actually looks like um, this is everything from bottom to the top So that is it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So I'm going to leave all of the links in the description to the pages where I got the storage items for the ones I can remember. So please check them out. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think I can do differently. If you think there's anything I can do differently. Let me know how you've been able to manage the space you have. Do you have a big pantry space? Do you have a small pantry space? Have you been able to do anything? And if you've not been able to do anything, this is a sign to get you to get up and do something to that space. Pour in a little bit of love. You, you can't be where you want to be at every point in your life. So I am of the opinion that wherever you are, you can make the best out of it i'm going to work hard but i'm definitely going to make the most of what i have in this present moment so if you have a small space please understand that you can do, do whatever you want to that space all you need is just a little bit of love and a little bit of thought and a plan and you can bring that space to life and it can serve you and your family and make you guys happy for the time being thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you're not subscribed don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in my next one bye